We are in our River Scout Gallery right now. Our Georgian native exhibit is right above us. We also have our freshwater turtles that we're going to be feeding. In here, we have four different species of native Georgia turtles. We have red-eared sliders, river cooters, and our yellow-bellied sliders. We also have a razorback musk turtle. So we have some lettuce. And this would replace the natural vegetation that these turtles tend to eat. What they really enjoy is their protein. So we have glass minnows, a small freshwater fish. We also have some pieces of smelt. They'll kind of ignore the lettuce once they start seeing these bits of fish and krill in the water. Just like kids, we feed them their lettuce first to kind of make sure that they eat their veggies. You can see them both going for the same piece of lettuce, even though there's five other pieces of lettuce floating nearby. These guys are pretty much always hungry. This is Magellan, Maggie for short. She is our false map turtle. As you can see, there's markings on her body part of what gives her the name false map. They kind of look like trails. She is a native Georgia freshwater turtle. She just gets so excited when she knows it's going to be feeding time. Maggie was on display with the other turtles, and she was having difficulty competing for food because her overgrown bite plates were making it difficult for her to eat. So as you can see, she does have a hard time grabbing her food. On the roof of the turtle's mouth, there is a keratin plate that allows them to crush their food, uh, mostly snails and clam. Since Maggie's bite plates are overgrown, she's going to have a minor procedure in a few days to kind of shave down those bite plates. Maggie, I'm going to get a little procedure. We're going to do essentially a, a dentist visit for a uh, false map turtle, Maggie. We're going to be wearing down the keratin plate that's in the roof of her mouth. If we don't do it, eventually she won't be able to eat or grab food. There's no nerves in it. It's just kind of like trimming our fingernails or our hair. You can see that bony plate kind of growing up a little bit along the bottom. All right, so we'll give the injection, and then it will take like 15 minutes. We are going to give this turtle some anesthetic, and then we're going to be able to work on her bite plates, and we'll dremel them down so that she's able to bite a little bit more easily. If Maggie were in the wild and she had an overgrowth of bite plates, over time she would be unable to eat and unfortunately not survive. All right, can you guys note the time? OK. The Dremel procedure is really safe. In veterinary medicine, we frequently use it for beak trims, nail trims. And in Maggie's case, we're using it to file down the plates in her mouth. Can we get that bigger one and switch to it for the top? Yep. Oh, yeah, this one's really getting down to business. Just like dogs and cats get a nail trim, this procedure isn't uncomfortable for Maggie. She won't feel what we're doing because her bite plates don't have any nerve endings. Let's have a little mouth. She's looking better. It's way better. OK, little one. She can sit in her little bucket to wake up. Ready to go back? Yeah, look at her. She's kicking you. Ready to go. Thanks, Brett. So I put her up there, and that way, when she's ready to hop in the water, she'll move herself in there. And I'm just going to observe her, make sure that she's awake enough to kind of swim around. 
there she goes. Maggie's gonna stay here for a few days so that we can monitor her while she recovers before we move her to a new exhibit. That's a nice breath right there. Today's a really exciting day. We're gonna be moving Maggie, our false map turtle, from this off-display holding exhibit into our Georgia native stream. Maggie's really recovering greatly from her procedure. Yep, that's looking really good. She's been eating really well. She's been putting on weight. She's been tongue feeding really well. And we'll continue to monitor her as we go along. Maggie, it's going to be a big day for you. Our Georgia native river exhibit. It's our largest exhibit in the freshwater gallery. And it mimics the natural ecosystem you'd find right here in Georgia. It's going to be a big change for her, and it's also going to be a big change for the other animals on exhibit as well. Hey, Nate. All right. She looks like she's ready to explore. Maggie's going to meet a lot of new kind of roommates that she hasn't had before. Uh, you can see Dwight right there. He's our largest fish in this exhibit. He's our lake sturgeon. These are going to be the same types of species that false map turtles would naturally cohabitate with. Ready to send Maggie into her new realm? Yeah. There you go. Well done. There's a little bit of current right there at that spot. <laughs> Such a big change for her. You can see the water moving her a little bit, so she'll get used to that. There she goes. Not too intimidated. No, She's, not at uh, all. Approaching life with confidence. There we go, the first breath. <laughs> New addition, the first turtle ever in this habitat, so that's pretty exciting. 